everything. Chang Kui began fighting at the age of 14. Blinky, what does he have to do to win? He needs a big start, Phil. He's got to come in and take command of this fight. He lost the first one. It is a rematch. He needs to be methodical and deliberate and land the legs to the legs of Manson. Slow Manson down. Ten years ago, he fought Rick Rufus and won here in the United States. Tonight, this is going to be a tall, tall order because waiting in the wings is that man. The IKKC World Light Heavyweight Champion, Manson Gibson and Blinky. He is going after his 100th victory here tonight at this championship showdown. No, no question, Phil. I mean, this guy here, Phil, is a warrior. I mean, Manson Gibson is an individual. He's colorful. He'll come in the ring. You never know what he's going to do. I think part of his success has been his awkwardness myself, but he's a tremendous fighter. Well, Blinky, what is the champion going to have to do to take Chang Puik out tonight? Phil, his patience is going to say something tonight to deliver, deliver the proper blow. He's going to need to dictate the fight, control the tempo, like I said, and he's calling for a KO in the fourth or fifth round. Wow. Well, Masson Gibson is in great shape. And here is what they're fighting for at stake, the IKKC World Light Heavyweight Championship. Five three-minute rounds. Manson, the master blaster, Gibson versus Chang Puik, seven-time world champion. Let's go now to the center of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada, Instinct Productions, Dennis Warner, and Rev Up Sports Energy Drink, the thirst quencher with attitude, present five rounds for the IKKC World Light Heavyweight title. Here are the fighters. First in the blue corner, wearing white and gold, and weighing in 179 pounds. He's from Eastern Thailand. He's fighting out of Pattaya, with a record of 129, 47, and 21. 90 by way of knockout. He's a seven-time world champion. Here is the Super Elephant, Chang Pui. Chang Pui. And in the red corner, wearing multicolor and at a weight of 182 pounds, from Compton, California, he's fighting out of Long Beach kickboxing with a record of 99, seven and two. Looking for his 100th win here tonight. He's defending his prestigious IKKC world title here. Witness the speed and power of Manson, the master blaster, Gibson. Gibson. And the third man in the ring tonight is your referee, Cecil Peoples. Now the veteran referee Cecil Peoples is the third man in. He'll bring the fighters to the center of the ring for final instructions. Chang Quick, seven-time world champion. Cecil Peoples, a real veteran of the ring. Goes way, way back to the beginning of this game, Phil. Was a fighter himself. Give me a good, clean fight. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Most important, obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Any questions? Let's go. Now, Blinky, they know one another. They fought in Tokyo, Japan four years ago. The only difference, they fought shoot boxing rules. And Gibson came out victorious, knocked him down in the second round and won on a decision. Now, Manson told me last night, he said, Phil, I love fighting in Japan. Went there in 1989. But in 1998, he fell from grace with the Japanese because of a passport problem. He was due to fight. He was promoted. He was on all the billboards, and he couldn't get into the country. Exactly. And there you see Manson. You never know what you're going to get. A ring, a ring wise veteran. You can probably see a lot of movement from him tonight. The ring's not as big as I'm sure he would like it. As a matter of fact, I had that discussion with Mark Radner. Mark Radner was expecting for there to be Phil a 20 by 20 inside the ring, not on the outside tonight. Yeah, it's 18 by 18, give him a it? ring, And it's 18 by 18 on the inside. So Manson, you know, look at he's getting the people. That's Manson following the referee around, and the people begin to laugh and boo at the same time. 
Cecil Peoples is going to get a workout, try to stay away from Manson Gibson. We see Chang Quick, though, doing all he can to, to, to try to track Manson Gibson down, but Manson Gibson on the outset said he was going to have to be patient. I expect Manson Gibson to turn the fight on in the later part of the fight. Well, I tell you what, he's, uh, I think he's risking a point penalty here at this point. He's been told by Gibson to come forward and let's fight. So people's giving them the warning actually not to to the tie fighter to Manson Gibson. He kept the big leg there by Chang Quick. Look how high Chang Quick holds his hands. And Chang Quick really wants to go to the legs of Manson Gibson, so he wants to take that mobility away from him. Cutting off the ring well, Phil. There he went to the outside. Now you hear the crowd beginning to chant, fight, fight. Gibson's uh, spent the first part of this uh, opening round just running. Chang Quick delivering a big left leg to the back leg of Manson Gibson. Oh, flush on the thigh, shin right on the back leg again of Manson Gibson. Manson Gibson patting the cup down the referee that it was a little low. Manson told me last night that he wears a, a cup that actually protects the, uh, the entire groin area around over the thigh bone, a much larger cup, so when he takes those shots, uh, he doesn't, it doesn't feel. There's that defensive sidekick by Manson. And that's why he turns sideways like that, Phil. Big overhand left. I think Manson's trying to save it for the end of the fight. That's why he's coming out going slow. But Manson Gibson, Phil, once again, and to the viewer now, is a very awkward fighter. You never, I've seen him come in the ring and kiss his opponent. Yeah, absolutely. At the stare down. I've seen antics from him that, that most people, you know, either you love him or you hate him. There's no middle ground with Manson Gibson. But you're right about that cup. He uses one that, that protects everything all the way up under. Yeah, you bet. Well, there is the Master Blaster, and uh, let's listen in. You heard Cecil Peoples telling uh, Ronald Smith and Manson Gibson, I want him to get busy out there. And, you know, the referee can, can, can come and make that statement, but, you know, the fighter's going to fight his fight, Phil, although he can't be running behind the referee and hiding behind him and here you see the Muay Thai fighter Chang Puik you know trying to attempt the big left leg and, and Manson just eluding it and just kind of moving off there again you see him just trying to you know get away from the thrust of that blow there you see an attempted knee by Chang Puik these fighters fought each other before Phil yes, they and have. I'm sure that Manson's awkwardness really caught Chang Quick by surprise the first time and he's probably made some adjustments because he has been able to corner him and has landed a couple of very powerful shots to the leg there goes another one there Phil well when Manson arrived in Las Vegas two days ago Blinky he weighed 198 pounds he had to lose 16 pounds in a day and a half. Last night at the weigh-in, he was a pound and a half over. I was here. He said, I'll be right back. He went out and he ran full speed for 24 minutes, came back in, hit exactly the 182 weight limit. He noticed now Manson took the, the pants on he was fighting with. Now he's got shorts on, Phil. But I also understand that throughout his whole career, he's done that. And that's amazing to me, and I'm sure any fighter out there that has had to lose weight for a fight. Uh, Chang Quick and Gibson now here, ready to lock up in round two. Gibson comes out, spinning back kick, spinning back fist. There's that side kick. Oh, Quick big left takes hook. a left hook to the side of his face. Another left hook. Gibson tries the right, now back to the left. Both fighters landing big punches, Phil. Chang Quick landed a nice straight left after Gibson pulled back out in a straight line. 
Interesting to watch both fighters last night when they posed for pictures. They actually there's the oh, oh it goes, there's that point. back kick to the body, wow. Phil, with the heel of the foot, Phil, the heel of the foot, and I've said it over and over. That's the floating rib, Phil, and that is the it's kind over. of kick Matson has stopped many people with that kick. That is not by luck. That is not by surprise, Phil. We've seen it many times. Chang Quick is still down. Manson gets it here, and the second round came alive, delivered the kick to the midsection, and it's over with. We've seen him deliver that kick at the Crystal Park uh, Casino in Compton, right next to his hometown. To the great Coban. To Coban with the heel of the foot. It's a devastating kick. And, and when you get hit with that shot, it paralyzes you. It's a straight, direct shot with the heel of the foot. Here we see him set it up. He misses one time. He, he throws a spinning back fist. There he uses a side kick to keep the tight fighter off him. Both fighters going through exchanges here, Phil. They both landed big shots. Manson Gibson landing with the left hooks. And then you'll see also Chan Puig land a straight left of his own. Here goes that back kick right there, floating rib, Phil. It's over. It's over right there, right on the side. Right there, you see it sticking right up under that elbow. And 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 Phil, I, I've seen Benny the Jet. There's not many fighters that can stop you with that kick. But I'll tell you what, I've seen him do it and ben, the great Benny the Jet Yukitas. Well, let's go to the center of the ring. Chris Gregory will tell us when the end came. Ladies and gentlemen. Referee Cecil Peoples stops about 48 seconds of the second round. The winner by knockout, Manson, the Master Blaster Gibson. And I'll tell you what, that man right there, Phil, as, as, as crazy as he looks and acts, he's a very humble man. He's well respected. He loves doing stuff for young kids. He's a good man. There he goes over, pays respect. To Chang Quick and Chang Quick Phil was in tremendous condition for this fight. He Absolutely, he was seven time world champion, still holds two of those world titles. But Manson Gibson gave no quarter tonight, he retains his IKKC World Light Heavyweight Championship belt. For Manson Gibson, Blinky would away to notch his 100th career victory. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Manson Gibson gave it up. He said he wanted to get to 100 wins. Tonight he established that. He established that 100 win against a great fighter. I don't know what else he has to prove unless the paydays pick up. It'd be interesting to see what the master blaster, Manson Gibson, is going to do, Phil. Well, it was, a, it was a kick to the midsection that just landed absolutely perfectly. That's where he lands it, Phil, right under that right elbow. Right there. He lands it right there. It's just such a straight shot, too. And if you notice, some of the younger fighters that we've seen earlier, you know, uh, that haven't been able to really hone that kick, they didn't have the distance on it. They threw it wide. Sometimes it landed with the point of the foot instead of the heel of the foot. This is one technique that he's had for in his arsenal for a long time. Now this crowd here at the Palm still a buzz over what we have just seen. Uh, Manson Gibson taking Chang Puig out. He came a long way to only last two rounds. Chang Puig from uh, Eastern Thailand right over on the, the Cambodian border. Chang Puig began kickboxing at the age of 14. Now you're looking at Manson Gibson as they take the gloves off here right at ringside. There's Chang Puig again. Now let's go over now to Sonia, who is with the assistant general manager of the Palms Hotel Casino. Sonia? Hi, I'm Sonia, and I'm standing here with uh, general manager of Palms Casino Resort, Mr. John Coletzo. Hi, how are you doing? Great, how are you this evening? Uh, fine. Uh, the hotel has been open for a month, I understand. And uh, how do you feel about the opening? And Well, it's been a very exciting one-month period for the Palms. We opened up on November 15th. 